YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Get up off your knees. So today, uh, we got uh, the wife's street beast, okay, it's the uh, wife family truckster, I call it the Enzo's shagging wagon, I think that's what we're going to call this, because, you know, we basically bought this to drive his fucking ass around, so we're going to call this the Enzo's shagging wagon, and uh, it's got 5,800 miles on it right now, and it's due for an oil change. And you know that I'm not going to let fucking the GM techs do that shit. Uh, I like to run that Schaefer's oil. Um, now this is that shit, uh, Dextrose, or whatever the fuck GM says that this shit is, you know, the best oil you can buy. But whatever. They changed the formula. Uh, this is actually really easy. Uh, all the oil the filters are real easy to get to. So this is not going to be too hard. I'll show you how to reset the light and, uh, you know, just basically work on the Enzo shagging wagon. But, uh, you know, thing holds 5.5 quarts of oil. I'm assuming that's with the oil filter. Uh, I got one from Napa. So let's get underneath this motherfucker and uh, start changing the oil because the wife's got to go to uh, a birthday party today with E. So. I gotta get this project knocked out and uh, I'll show you the inside of it to what your wife does to the car that you buy her. But I'm thinking about vacuuming it out before she gets here so maybe I can get a little pussy. What do you think? We might have to spruce this thing up a little bit. It smells like french fries in there. I don't know what the hell she's doing. But anyway, uh, let's get right into fucking changing this oil here. This is the beast of an engine here. Uh, that's under here. It is the 3.6 liter like 270 cubic inches, but this is what it looks like underneath the hood of the fucking shagging wagon here, you know, like uh, very simple. I like uh, the GM made these a little bit easier to work on. It's like they almost wanted to shove a V8 in there. Uh, the thing does have good power though, and I saw that my wife got 28 point five miles per gallon out of this motherfucker, which for her, you know, whoo, that's good because uh, I can tell you this thing's going to need brakes on it before it hits 10,000 because the old Miss Junkie there is hard on the brakes and the accelerator. She drives uh, wide open to 100% brake, back to wide open to 100% brake. It's, it, it's fascinating to watch. And she yells at everybody and blows her horn. So if you ever see a silver Acadia in Cincinnati, Ohio, blow in your horn, just stay to the right, fellas. Stay to the right. She's a fucking nutbag. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's what it looks like underneath here. So we'll get underneath here. We'll go get underneath this bastard to change the oil here. Uh, this is pretty easy because the drain plug is real easy to get to. Another 15 millimeter one. Uh, I got these long handled ratcheting wrenches is what we're going to go with. We'll set that right there. Oh, you motherfucker, come on. And again, GM Brit drain plug, a little loose. I don't know what these people do in the factory. So, we'll get that draining. As you can see, uh, 6,000 miles, it doesn't look too bad, you know. I mean, it's a little brown. Uh, I would say she's been road hard and put up wet many a night. Uh, let me go ahead and get that filter off there. So we'll see if uh, this is on there. Ha oh, ha! Perfect. Oh, sorry, fellas. Sorry. Oh, AC Delco PF63. Uh, we got a Napa Pro to put in there. So like always, I will let this drain uh, pretty good. We will get up there and uh, 
brake clean that off once it gets done there. Um, let's see if this is a, nope, not a magnet plug. So, you know, we'll hit this with a little brake clean here in a second, but we'll let that drain out for a little bit. But this is pretty easy. This is a lot easier than the Street Beast. You know, I'm really liking the Enzo's Shaggin' Wagon a lot better. So we'll be right back once we get some brake clean and douche this thing off. They got the new filter. Ah, oh, we're just screwing that on. Oh, oh yeah. A little brake clean action. Alrighty. Go ahead and tighten this filter up. Here, just, all right. So we get that tightened up. Let's, uh, douche off our bolt a little bit. Oh, still a little running out of there, but we'll be all right. Go ahead and get our drain plug in there. I do like this drain plug. It has a uh, Torx in the inside of it and a ratchet on the outside of it. That's pretty fucking cool. Okay, we are done underneath the car. So I will get you guys out of the way, get all this shit pulled out of here. And that's all we gotta do underneath there. It's the oil we're using. It's a Schaefer Supreme 9000 fully synthetic gasoline engine oil formulated for GM Dexos E01 or whatever the fuck this is. Uh, it says we take five and a half quarts. So we'll start dumping this in. I love this Schaefer stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever used this stuff, but it is definitely uh, the motor oil that I like the best. I've tried a whole bunch of them. Uh, I would say the only motor oil that I like a little bit better than this is uh, Redline uh, racing oil. Redline and Schaefer's have a lot in common. They're both a, what I would call a boutique uh, oil. That means that, uh, you know, it's kind of made to a little bit better standards, uh, if you will. It's just, you know, it's higher quality stuff. Um, this is what I run in all my dump trucks. So I decided that I wanted to put it in, you know, Enzo Shaggin' Wagon here. But so we'll get five quarts of this stuff in there, then we'll check it. This stuff has like, you know, just the materials that they make it out of are a little bit better. Um, you know, it has good detergents in there. It keeps the engine uh, really clean, you know, so hopefully we can get extended life out of, you know, the shagging wagon here, which I'm sure my wife will want a new car before this one ever gets worn out. You know, I can just, I can tell you that. I mean, that's just how they roll. So we got five in there. Let's see what we got on the old dipstick there. Uh, we are about a half a quart low. So we will put another half a quart in there. And then what we'll do is we'll go in there and we'll start this pig up. I have a feeling this is going to end up taking all of it, but we'll see. Oh no, perfect. Five and a half quarts exactly. Wow, Google was right. I mean, this thing is kind of weird. There we go. Look at that. All right, guys, let's go in here and start this pig up. All right, let's open the door and get in the old shagging wagon here. Oh, motherfuck. All right. So we're inside the truck. Now what you gotta do is start this up. Let's see what we got here. This takes forever. God damn. Yeah, thank you. We know the hood's open. I can see the hood open. Okay, now how you reset this is, you can see that 
my wife ran it down to 12. You click over and there is the oil reset button. You hit that. Are you sure that you want to reset? Uh, fuck yeah. They don't have that on there, but all right. All righty, let's do miss out of that. Let's see if we can find... Uh, I don't see oil pressure, so let's try to run through here and see what kind of, there's oil temperature, oil pressure. We got about 42 pounds, let's give her a little gas. Oh, it tells you if you overspeed it. So that's that, we got good oil pressure. And I'm seeing we can look at here at the oil temperature. We're just over 100 degrees. Perfect. So that's changing the oil uh, in the wife's shagging wagon. So you look at that. 28.5 she got out of this thing. Uh, all the got to got to fuck with the tire pressures there. Uh, but we got the oil life already reset, so the light won't come on. She's about out of gas. That's typical. Nothing new there. But that's that. Uh, you gotta turn the key off. So as you can see, that's how you reset the light and all that stuff. It, it, let me show you this shit. Let me show you this. Look at this. Brand new car. Just fucking dirt and shit. Fucking everywhere. So I'm going to have to spend some time cleaning this uh, before she comes and picks it up. Uh, that's just a horn beeping because we leave the key inside the car in the garage. Um, I do got one more thing. I got to check uh, the coolant looks a little low. And I'm going to add this uh, coolant additive that hope it's it's like a conditioner. It keeps all the, you know, it keeps from this GM stuff getting kind of hard. It's from Schaefer's. It's some really expensive shit. But that's how you change the oil on this simple uh, Enzo shagging wagon. Uh, you know, if you guys want to come, well, fuck it. We'll just bring you along for the check in the antifreeze there. Uh, as you can see that it's a little bit low. So what we're going to add first is the clean cool. Now this says, uh, this is one pint for every eight gallons. So we're going to use about half this bottle. And that got us right up to the line. Now what this stuff is, is it's uh, Schaefer's Clean Cool. Basically, if you ever heard of like a water wetter, what it does is, is it prevents rust deposits, uh, you know, existing stuff. It stops a whole bunch of corrosion and stuff like that. It's some really good stuff. It costs a fucking shit ton. But anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to add to that. So uh, we got this done. Uh, put the cap back on. I'm gonna tell you what, these radiator caps have really changed on these newer GM cars. So we don't have to do none of that. What we will do, pan over here, just double check that, yep, we are filled up. I don't really like these style dipsticks. I don't know if you guys do, but, so we got all that filled up. So we're topped off on oil, everything is good. Oh, so we're done with the oil change. Uh, I just gotta vacuum out my wife's car here, but, Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you know, just trying to show you some different stuff. As you can see, I used two jacks, so we had redundancy under there, so, you know, we're working on safety, slowly but surely, but fuck it, you gotta have an element of danger, that much makes this job exciting. But anyway, uh, you know, simple stuff here, uh, why pay them all that money and they put shitty oil in it when I can control what goes in this thing. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I ordered a whole bunch of filters from Napa, and I have a whole bunch of oil, so I got everything ready to go. Uh, but that's uh, changing the oil on Enzo's shag and wagon, all that stuff. Like always, guys, uh, check out the Patreon account. Uh, you know, we're coming into November, so whatever tool uh, the guys want to review this month, we will. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Go check out the Snap-on Junkie on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, like always, thanks for watching. I gotta fucking go. Hopefully I get some pussy for vacuuming out her car. Fuck! <laughs>